As a reseller of used children's products, new rules apply to your store. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, a partner in helping to keep your customers safe, has developed this video on how to comply with the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act. Complying with the law means screening for potentially unsafe products. Make safety your business by keeping unsafe products out of the hands of consumers. You play an important role in keeping families safe by screening for products that have been recalled, are hazardous, or are unlawful to sell. So what are the things you should be screening for before selling products in your store? They include recall products, children's products with lead, children's products with phthalates, and other potentially hazardous products. Many of you already work to keep recalled products off your store shelves. CPSC wants to help you take safety to the next level. There are more than 400 recalls every year. Everything from toys to clothes to juvenile products and appliances. Not only is it against the law to sell recalled products, but in some cases, products have been recalled after severe injuries or even deaths, which you can help prevent by removing such products from the marketplace. Resellers should take a few minutes and check CPSC's website, www.cpsc.gov, before accepting or reselling products, and ask the person donating the item if they have checked if the product has been recalled. If it has, don't accept it and don't sell it. Passing on a dangerous recalled product is one of our greatest concerns at CPSC. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Next, look for products that contain lead or have lead paint. Lead above certain levels is prohibited in children's products. That is, products intended primarily for children 12 and younger. Toys, clothes, furniture, jewelry, and games may all be considered children's products. You don't need to test items, but you still need to make sure you're selling products that comply with the law. To a degree, simply doing a careful inspection of the product will go a long way in determining whether it's okay to sell. Let's look at a few common examples. This is Jason Hartman of CPSC's Compliance Department. Jason, what about wooden toys like these? Uh, so we know plain, untreated wood like this um, has no lead, and uh, this toy would be okay to sell. What about this one? This wooden airplane is painted, and the paint could contain lead. Unless you know for sure that it does not, you shouldn't sell it. Now, is there any concern about something like this, children's metal jewelry? Uh, inexpensive children's metal jewelry is another area where we commonly see lead. It's best just to not resell it. What about children's clothing? Plain garments such as this, even though it's dyed, it doesn't have any buttons or zippers or snaps, and it's okay to sell. Other children's uh, clothing items like these have rhinestones and buttons and snaps and zippers, and these pieces could contain lead, and these items should be set aside. Finally, uh, how about children's bicycles? There is a two-year stay of enforcement, which allows uh, resellers to go ahead and sell new and used bicycles and components. So these products may be safe to sell, is that right? The only way to know is to either contact the manufacturer or to test them. There may be a qualified person in your area who has been trained to use specialized equipment which can quickly detect the presence of lead. So you may want to hold some of these questionable items aside for testing periodically, especially if they're high dollar items. That's right. Resellers should play it smart and only sell those products believed to be safe or that are on CPSC's list of acceptable children's products. And so long as uh, resellers make every effort to follow our guidance and work to comply with this child safety law, CPSC will not prosecute you or bring heavy fines against your store. Okay, great. Thanks, Jason. In addition to lead, the law also bans the sale of certain toys or child care articles that contain any one of six prohibited chemicals known as phthalates above certain levels. Phthalates can be used in products like this to make vinyl and other plastics soft and flexible. There's no easy way, though, to know if a product contains phthalates. 
CPSC's enforcement efforts will be focused on the products most likely to pose a risk of phthalate exposure to children, such as bath toys and other small plastic toys, especially those made of polyvinyl chloride that are intended for young children and can be put in the mouth. Finally, let's talk about some other potentially hazardous products that are commonly resold. Keep an eye out for items with small parts and small parts that can detach. They aren't appropriate for children under three and can be a choking hazard. Drawstrings in the hood and neck area of children's clothing can cause strangulation. Remove the drawstrings and you've removed the hazard. Unless you are sure that used cribs and play yards meet all current safety standards, are in good shape and aren't missing any hardware, don't resell them. A child can become entrapped and suffocate. Don't sell recalled cribs. Toys with magnets that can detach are also a problem. Children have swallowed tiny magnets which have come together in the intestines and caused severe injuries. You can find a list of other potentially hazardous products on our website. The new law is in place to protect consumers, especially children. Do your part to help keep consumers safe. Visit www.cpsc.gov to check for recalled or hazardous products before you accept or sell them. Don't sell products that have other identified hazards. Make safety your business.